understand that. Right, your second opportunity to get a head start ahead of the all-important third round. Our second question, are we both ready? Yeah. You will answer this one first, no. Dean. And the question is this. It's a bit of history for you. 1984 was a special year for both Liverpool and Tottenham because they both won European finals. Liverpool, the European Cup, Spurs, the UEFA Cup. What I want you to tell me is, who did, in 1984, your club beat to win their European trophy? Your 30 seconds start now. OK, so we're going back to 1984. My basic maths tells me that's 26 years ago. These guys don't look too much older than 26, so they're going to have to have done a bit of work to reel this in. Obviously, both clubs, well, Spurs with a, a half-decent European history, Liverpool with an illustrious one. We're down to 15 seconds. This could be crucial. Remember, 11 points up for grabs in the third round, but this could give either Dean or Nitin a crucial one-point advantage before we take a break ahead of that all-important third round. We're down to the final three, two, and one. I need answers. I need you to tell me, Dean, who Liverpool beat in the European Cup final in 1984. Roma. He says Roma. He's right. It was Roma. <laughs> These guys know their onions. They beat Roma on penalties. And do you remember the Bruce Grobelar spaghetti legs? Yes. It'll always be remembered for Bruce Grobelar's spaghetti legs. So now, having been all confident at the start, you now need to tell me and it's in, in 1984, who did Tottenham beat in the UEFA Cup final? We beat uh, and the on penalties. I tell you what, I didn't even need the penalties bit, but you are right, and the <laughs> This is absolutely sensational. So, as we go, we'll give you guys a, a minute to calm down. Not that you need it. I think, I, I think we could be here a long, long time. I don't think we're going to stump these guys all night. But as we go into the third round, we are locked in combat. It is Dean 2, Nitin 2. We're feeding the pressure here in the studio. Dom is with the family and friends. I can't believe it. Dom looks like he's been left holding the baby. Yeah. That must be the first time that's ever happened. Join us in a couple of moments. We will crown Singapore's ultimate football fanatic. We could be a long time, though. It's two all. This program... we had about the fanatical nature of our two fanatics have been dispelled in the first two rounds. They were absolutely faultless, which means we go to the third and final round, locked together at two for Liverpool, two for Spurs, two for Dean, two for Nitten. I'm going to drag this out just a little bit longer for you guys, because we need to check in with Dom and see how your friends and family are getting on in the face of all this pressure. I can barely cope. I wonder how Dom and your friends and family are coping. Yes, Patrick, tensions are high as the families look idly on as their two representatives answer these questions. Even I'm biting my fingernails right now, but you know what? Let's get on with our final challenge. Here it is. And it comes down to this. A maximum number of 13 points are available across all our three challenges, our three rounds, if you like. 13, a number that will be unlucky for one and very lucky for the other. Could be 13, all the way these guys are going. I wouldn't rule out a 13 all tie and force us into a tie break situation. Right, let's get on with it, guys. You have in front of you your blackboards and your magic markers. Just show your magic markers and blackboards for the people at home so they can see what you'll be using. So write your answers down. Now, I want you to take the tops off those pens in preparation to answer the question in the third and final round. Are you happy your pens are working there? Just give it a little bit of a mini squiggle so we get some ink on those pens. Excellent stuff, they both seem to be working fine. As in the previous two rounds, you'll have 30 seconds to answer the question, but in this case, there is more than one answer. There's 11 answers, in fact. I want you to write down as many as you can in 30 seconds, as many as you can, name me as many as you can of the team that started your club's last Premier League game. In 30 seconds, Spurs against Arsenal, Liverpool against West Ham, as many as you can from the starting 11, starting now. So this is interesting. We've tested them with one-off answers across 30 seconds. Now they have to try and get as many as 11. Going to have to concentrate. Obviously, the writing has to be legible as well. We need to be able to read it. We're just going by surnames. We don't have to worry about the first name so much as long as we get a surname and we'll be a little bit flexible on spelling. But we have to get as many possible. We're down to the final 10 seconds. We're down to seven, six. There's some furious scribbling going on here. Going down, the writing's very fast indeed. Time's up. I need to ask you to put pens down. Pens down now, guys. Put those pens down. 
we've got room for there. Okay, guys, let me just start. Can you put, can you put, I didn't get the question. No, no problem. Put your, put your pen down there if you can. Uh, Dean, that's fine. Right, I'm just going to ask you, Nitin, to tell me how many you think you've got. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, can you just uh, ha show your board up to that uh, camera there, just to show everyone at home you've got the nine there. Three, six, nine complete, one incomplete. And Dean, can you just put your board up to the camera there? So you've got four there, so you've got four, so it's nine plays four with that. It's obviously advantage Tottenham, but don't forget, they have to have been in the first 11 last weekend. You only get a point for each of those players that was in the first 11. You've got more answers on your board, so I will start with you knitting. We're going to mark these off one by one alternately, okay? So what's the first name you're going with? It's uh, Van der Vaart. Yeah. Rafa Van der Vaart. Yeah. Let's see if he played the Spurs he did. That's the, that's the noise you want to hear. Right. So you have a point. So it's now 3-2 to Nitan. Let's go to you now, Dean. Now, obviously, you've not got as many names. Let's hope they all played. You're going with Pepe Reina in goal. He says Pepe Reina. Did Pepe Reina play well for Liverpool? He did. So we're still tied at 3 all. Your next name on there, you've gone for the goalkeeper. Second, interestingly enough, you've gone for Gomez. Yeah. Did Gomez play for Spurs against Arsenal? He did. Which means it's now 4-3 to Nitan. Let's see your next name. is Fernando Torres. He goes with Torres, does Dean. And it's right. So we're now at four apiece. Your next name? Eunice Kabul. He goes for Eunice Kabul. Did Eunice Kabul start his first weekend? He did. 5-4. Jamie Carragher is the third name that Dean has gone for. It's five all. Your fourth name, Nitan. Oh, I got that. He goes for William Gallas. <laughs> William Gallas is correct. So where are we now? We are now at 6-5. Your next name is the final one on your list here. Dean, you're running out of names. You've got the Christian Paulson, and he did play it right. So now we're in a situation with six all, but you're out of names, Dean, which means, Nitin, if you give me one correct name, the next name on your list, if it's correct, you are Singapore's ultimate football fanatic, and you've won that all expenses paid trip for you and your family to the UK, an experience never before won by any Singaporean person to sing out. What name are you giving me there? You're giving me Luka, Luka Modric. Modric. He goes for Luka Modric. The noise tells you he's right. Yeah! I feel absolutely sick. There has to be a loser. I'm absolutely heartbroken for Dean, but delighted, obviously, for Nitan. There's, of course, a consolation prize for Dean. He wins that $500 Singtel voucher. But Spurs have beaten Liverpool. I wonder if that's an omen for what happens this weekend. But congratulations must go to Nitin. He is Singapore's ultimate football fanatic. And let's have a look at the prize that he has won. <laughs> The prize for Singapore's ultimate football fanatic is non-expenses paid trip to the UK to take in a BPL game for real. Nothing beats being there in the fresh, whether it's White Hart Lane for you Spurs fans or Liverpool. If you're a Reds man, you can go to Anfield. Some VIP experiences are lined up as a special surprise. We'll be filming the trip as well to feature on a future show right here on Mio Stadium. It will be quite literally a trip of a lifetime. We're also going to take you to our London Broadcast Centre to meet the mighty John Dyke and his team will bring you the live BPL coverage every weekend and there's a runners-up prize of a $500 Singtel voucher. Oh, Dean, 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 you should